Hello everybody, uh, welcome to part 7 on how to build your own solar panel. Today we'll be applying the vapor barrier and placing it inside the, uh, the casing. So out of all my uh, vapor barriers that I showed you in the last video, in this one I decided to use the, the EVA film, because the other ones are pretty self-explanatory, you know, just stick and peel. So since we're going to be using that EVA, which basically looks like this with the wax paper on the back, you have a uh, choice to make. Do you want it to be uh, attached to the back of your panel, or do you want it to be attached to the front uh, of the panel, or have it attached to something that sits in the middle? Well, today I'm just going to show you the one that's going to be uh, sit, uh, stuck in the middle, and so I'm going to use this plexiglass here that I experimented with to make sure it wasn't going to melt. And as long as I kept it on the lowest setting of the heat gun, which was, I believe, 430 degrees Fahrenheit, didn't have any problems with the plexiglass melting or uh, deforming or anything. But then I also tried the 570, which is the lowest high setting, and the plexiglass started to work. So. Just stick with the lowest setting you have on your heat gun. Alright, so I, I cut that to size. I just went ahead and stuck the solar cells laying on top there. And just go ahead and peel this off. And once it comes off, it's not sticky at all. Throw that there. So we have two sides. We have a, a flat side and a bumpy side. I'm going to be using the bumpy side. And I have actually tried both ways, like I showed you in part six. And I think the um, bumpy side up sticks just that much better. But they, they both do stick. And what I'm going to do is cut out a section here. And I'll just reattach this later. So I have something to attach my solder to, which is uh, this one and one on here. Oops, I forgot to cut that off. Okay, so I have the EVA laying on top there, bumpy side up, and make sure these cells are all aligned. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to start from the center, this is going to be a, a lengthy process, and I'll tell you exactly how long it took uh, to get it all done, so you have a, an idea if this is a technique you want to use or not, the EVA. Alright, so I'm just making sure my cells are nice and centered, which they are. Alright, so take your heat gun, and actually, I'm going to stop rolling and get a close-up of this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, turn on the heat gun, and I'm going to start in the center. And this is going to take a while, but hopefully you can see uh, what it looks like as it's starting to... Uh, adhere to the cells and the plexiglass underneath. And I'm not sure if you can see it, which I, I hope you can. It's not as cloudy already. It's um, already like a nice and dark blue of the, the cell as it attaches. And I also like going from the center that way you can kind of stretch it and get the bubbles out. Otherwise, if you start from a corner and stretch it, I've had, you know, bubbles get in there. And you can get them out, but it takes it a lot longer to do that. So, I'm um, just going along here trying to attach the cell. All 
Okay, shut this off for a second. Okay, well that takes an edge that it pulls itself off. As you can see, it's already sticking uh, really well to the, uh, the cell. Of course, I can it off easily. And it's pushing up this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, do the whole uh, panel here, and tell you how long that took. Okay, so heating up the EVA is all done. Heated it and stretched it out. So now I have a nice vapor barrier in the front and a nice barrier on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my glass here. And I'm going to go ahead and sit that on the inside. that sitting uh, nice and snug on the inside. So in case the back breaks for some reason, you know, bird flies into it, something, you know, goes flying into it, I can just uh, replace that back glass. Or also if something happens to the front, I can just pull it out and uh, replace it. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and I have my, my two ends here. And I'm just going to go ahead and solder some wire to that and we'll go from there. Okay, on the interest of saving time, I went ahead and soldered the the two ends uh, with the with let's see what gauge this is 12 gauge wire, uh, red and the black. Obviously, the red is on the positive, black is on the negative. And then over that, I went ahead and stuck some of the scrap EVA, you know, cut it to size, heated it up, and uh, sealed it up that way. So now it's there's uh, no holes whatsoever in there that I'm aware of. And one good thing about this track or spacer is it has a, a nice pocket along here. So you can go ahead and stick your wire in along here so you don't even see it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill two holes in the bottom. One's going to be the positive and one for the negative. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled out a, a two holes for the wires, and then I just took the wires all down the, the track there, so they're, they're not too visible anyway. And then you end up with a panel looking like this, and the back looks like that. So I believe I'm almost out of time for, for this video, but uh, next video I'll be, there's a couple holes here that we'll be go ahead and sealing up and then I'll be putting on the glass the, the cover and then sealing that up and then we'll be ready to uh, start cutting out the frame to insert the, the two panels in so alright uh, thank you for watching this uh, video take care as always and God bless